Hey guys, it's Miss Miners um, here for our second round of read alouds. Today should be day 16, I believe. Um, last week we did some read alouds where we were doing an author study. This week we're not going to do an author study. We have an essential question. Um, and our essential question this week is why is it important to face challenges? Um, a lot of times in life, as a kid, as an adult, we face challenges um, and they just kind of come up in our life. And um, the biggest thing in our books this week is going to be different characters that face challenges. And really the important word that we're going to listen for and we're going to learn about is the word courage. So as I'm reading, I want you to think about what the word courage means. And actually, um, our first book this week is called Courage. Um, and again, these are... Um, interactive read alouds by Fontis and Pinnell, so all copyright information and um, all copyright data goes to them. So our first book this week is called Courage, like I said, and our author and illustrator is Bernard Weber. I want you to look at the cover. I want you to think about what you notice. What do you notice about that boy? What does it look like he's doing? And really pay attention to his facial expression. So as I said, um, obviously the title is called Courage, and if you don't know what courage means or um, kind of what it makes you think of, for me, the word courage makes me think of being brave. And that's a word that you guys should have um, used before, should have heard before. So I want you to think about a time when you had to use courage or when you felt brave. And in this story, we're gonna read about this little boy and it looks like he is currently on a high dive. Okay, so think about why that would take courage for him to be up on a high dive. And as I read, I want you to think about how he is brave and how he needs courage to face his challenges. Okay, and like I said, all week, all of our books are gonna deal with facing challenges and why it's important in life to face those challenges and why courage is important. All right. Here we go. There are many kinds of courage. Awesome kinds. And everyday kinds. Courage is courage, whatever kind. Courage is riding your bicycle for the first time without training wheels. Just think about why that might take courage. Think about if you know how to ride a bike, think about learning how to ride a bike. Did that take courage for you to ride for the first time without training wheels? Courage is a spelling bee, and your word is superliciousness. Courage is two candy bars and saving one for tomorrow. Courage is mealtime and desperately hoping it's not chunky chunks in real gravy grain again. Courage is nobody better pick on your little brother. So on this first page, our question is, why does it take courage to be in a spelling bee? Hmm, I want you to think about that. You might not have ever been in a spelling bee, but a spelling bee is when you have to get up in front of a large group of people and the person that is running the spelling bee gives you a word and you have to spell it correctly the first time. If you spell it correctly, you get to move on to the next round. If you don't spell it correctly, then you're out and you're competing against a whole group of people. Some can be older than you, some can be younger than you, some can be your same age, but you're doing it in front of a large crowd. So I want you to think about why that would take courage and how you might feel if you were up in front of a big crowd spelling words, really hard words. And then our question on this page is, how does the big sister show her courage? Hmm, 
She says, courage is making sure you don't get anybody to pick on your little brother. Courage is it's your job to check out the night noises in the house. Think about if you're at home at night and it's really dark and you hear a noise. Why would it take courage to go check out what that noise is? Think about that word brave that I said at the beginning. Courage is being the new kid on the block and saying flat out, Hi, my name is Wayne. What's yours? Courage is tasting the vegetable before making a face. Courage is not peeking at the last pages of your who unit book to find out who did it. Courage is being the first to make up after an argument. So our question on this first page is, why does Wayne have courage? Now, if you remember, it said courage is being the new kid on the block and saying just flat out, Hi, my name is Wayne. What's yours? Hmm. Think about being the new kid at school and just going up to other kids and saying, Hi, my name is... Why would that take courage? Courage is deliberately stepping on sidewalk cracks. Courage is the bottom of the ninth. Tie score. Two outs. Bases loaded. And it's your turn to bat. Courage is the juicy secret you promised never to tell anyone. So our question on this page, have you ever promised someone not to tell a big secret? Why is that so hard to do? So let's say one of your friends tells you a really big secret and they say, you have to promise not to tell anyone. Why is that hard? Does that take courage and how? Courage is being suds and scrubbed by strangers. Courage is breaking bad habits. Courage is suddenly remembering a silly joke and trying not to giggle when everyone else is being especially serious. So a lot of times we think of courage as just one thing. It's just being brave. But this author, Bernard Weber, is telling us all the ways that you can have courage. In some ways you might not have even thought of before. Courage is arriving much too early for a birthday party. Courage is sending a valentine to someone special that you secretly admire and signing your real name. Courage is admiring, but not plucking. Courage is going to bed without a nightlight. Courage is deciding to have your hair cut. Courage is trying to cover up your mean, jealous side. Courage is a scenic car trip and being stuck in the middle during the best part. Courage is explaining the rip in your brand new pants. <laughs> I want you to look at the dog's face. Why do you think the dog is jealous on this page? What do you think the dog is feeling jealous? Courage is going on it again. Courage is if you knew where there were some mountains, you would definitely climb them. Courage is exploring heights and depths. Courage is a blade of grass breaking through the icy snow. Now let's think about that last example. 
Courage is a blade of grass breaking through the icy snow. Why does that take courage? It's just a piece of grass right here. But why does it take courage for it to peek through the icy snow? Hmm. Courage is starting over. Courage is holding on to your dream. Courage is being a firefighter or a police officer. Courage is sometimes having to say goodbye. Courage is what we give to each other. So our last question on this page is, how do you think we give courage to each other? How can you give courage to me? How can I give courage to you? Hmm. How can you give courage to your friends and how can they give courage to you as well? And that's the end of our first story, okay? So like I said, as you're answering the questions for this book, I want you to think about what challenges the different characters on these pages faced and why it took courage to kind of overcome those. And also, I think this is a great word, courage, to think about in your own life. How do you show that you have courage? How are you showing that you have courage right now? And what kind of challenges do you think we're facing right now in school or just in life? And as we read these other texts, I want you to think about what those challenges are and why it takes courage to overcome those and to really succeed. And I will see you guys again tomorrow.